Hi, I'm Brian May. It is one of the most beautiful areas in all of Northern California and Oregon for that matter. I'm talking about Mount Shasta, but within the beauty of the mountain lies a tremendous amount of danger if you don't know your ability and the conditions. It happens every year. A family of three on their way home to Arcata got trapped in the snow on Friday, needing to be rescued. Now, a well-meaning trip to the snow. We lost two people in one day. Turns into a search and rescue mission. If something does happen, which way are you going to go? Which is why this group of search and rescue coordinators from across California are here in Mount Shasta. They're learning how to perform search and rescue missions in severe winter conditions. This is a good kind of hands-on to get everybody understanding, again, especially in the winter environment, uh, there's a lot of things that could go wrong and we want to make sure that you know, they're planned. It's an important hands-on training course offered by the Cal OES Law Enforcement Branch. This year, it's being hosted by the Siskiyou County Sheriff's Department. It's a perfect blend of volunteers who have a passion for giving back to the community with the proper oversight from the local law enforcement community. After learning the basics in a classroom, the group moves outside into the elements, hands on, on a snow covered Mount Shasta. From this course, we, we have about a 50-50 split where we have 50% volunteers. Um, a lot of volunteers have a lot of experience and then 50% where their law enforcement sworn, so they're from different jurisdictions. Great. One of the volunteers at this week's exercise is Dr. Mary Cable, an expert in the use of canines in search and rescue. She does love this. She's itching to go. Mary's here to show the class how her working partner, Inca, a four-year-old Belgian Malinois, can be utilized. They can detect that from a pretty good distance. She brings um, the ability to detect somebody that's buried that you would never be able to see because we can't see through snow. So she's really a different type of sensor instrument, whereas we use our eyes, she uses our nose. From paws on the ground to eyes up in the air, this training covers every type of resource and mutual aid that could be used if needed. We were at 450 with our breeze on our old helicopter. This gives us 500 pounds. We've done a little bit of everything. We've gone over uh, medical considerations, what we can uh, expect to see in the field, and also how to prevent that from happening to our searchers. Uh, we've learned how to manage uh, missions that start out small but can go large. Uh, we've learned sheltering. Uh, we've learned what sort of resources we can request uh, from snow cats to snowmobiles, um, canines, and, and that sort of thing. At times, there is no question this class can seem more like winter recreation, but behind the fun lies critical training that will save a life. Thinking ahead about what you're going to do, and, and this training we're doing is essential for that because uh, it gives you the tools to um, you know, give you the ability when you get out there to do that pre-planning and be ready when you get out there. People like to come and enjoy the nature. This is some great stuff, um, and, and folks will get into those get in those situations where uh, they didn't plan on it and we have to be prepared to go out and understand that, hey, uh, accidents happen and we gotta go out and help them. For more information on the Cal OES law enforcement training classes, you can visit caloes.ca.gov. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May.